following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Akira and Zack Anna. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And before I forget, allow me to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. You know, I can't help but wonder what I did wrong to have to be spending Christmas sitting next to you two. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. Gonna take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the 201 face breaker. Oh, and look at the baseball slide. Whoa, into the Hurricane Rana. Nicely done. The rankings are out, guys, and this superstar has to be happy about what the polls revealed this week. She cinches in the headlock. Him up for the well, many are clearly happy with this week's power rankings. As Byer was saying, I can tell you that there were many superstars in the locker room earlier today who were none too pleased. Well, there's only one way to fix that, and that's to go out there and win. There's no use walking around with a boo boo face, that'll get you nowhere. She's almost there, just oh, and she makes the tag, and not a moment too soon, Michael. Bravo to the voters this past week. It seems they finally got the rankings right. And I know this superstar agrees with me. It's about time. Well, while Corey lauds the power rankings voting process, I will say that there are more than a few people who think a few mistakes were made this past week, particularly as it relates to the superstars ranking. Michael, I'm not at all surprised to hear that Corey has a different opinion than pretty much the rest of the world. It's like he's not happy unless he's pushing somebody's buttons. And the Benji lands a hellacious DDT. Sasha Banks dodge out of the way there. She drops her hard. She's starting to stagger a bit, but she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. I gotta say, guys, I have been incredibly impressed by what we've seen from this superstar in recent weeks. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, it's going to break her arm. Oh, oh man. Gosh, why? All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Look at her go. Well, Byron, you're not the only one impressed by what you've seen as of late. It seems these responsible for the weekly rankings have also taken notice because this superstar comes into tonight with quite an impressive spot. And well-deserved, too, I might say. It just goes to show that wins here in WWE go a long way in solidifying your spot on the roster. Two. 
She's looking wobbly, guys. And I assure you, the hazards outside the ring are very, very real. This is a bad situation. This could be all she wrote. Oh, she wants this win bad. This could be it for her. She might have it. Well done. Victory is on the horizon. I think that slam... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And a kick out. She's still in this one. Tagged in. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation like this. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that with this superstar, Cole. Some competitors are known for believing their own height, but that's definitely not the case here. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. And a pair Sasha Banks is starting to hit a wall at this point. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. She's got nothing left, guys. If she doesn't make a tag soon, this match is over. It's that simple. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus The Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Looks like Bailey's getting pushed to the limit here. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. Well, she's been able to stay close to her opponent throughout this entire match, but this might just be where her luck runs out. She is on fire. Look at Bailey making her moves. Anytime a superstar sees her, and there's a corner exploder suplex. She has got to take advantage here. That is a huge opening for Bailey. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. Here's her chance. She got the shoulder up in time. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. Oh man, she's rolling now. Bailey's looking to end it. She hits it. Bailey brings everyone to their feet. Nice. Shut it down. Bailey is really applying pressure now, guys. We may very well. Always nice when a plan starts coming together. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. Bailey really needs to dig down. And will this be it? Two, three. What a tag team display. Now, wait a minute. Look out from behind. Oh, my God. A steel chair across the spine. No! No! Why? Why are they doing this? Unfinished business. 